Now here in Micah chapter 3, we're going to see a really interesting one here. I believe that cannibals are visible reprobates. Right. These are people we can determine according to the scriptures. They got that way because they hate God. Yeah. They got that way because in their heart they hated the good and they loved the evil. Look at Micah chapter 3, verse number 1. And I said, Here I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princes, and the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? Who hate the good and love the evil, who pluck off from their skin from them, and their flesh from their bones, who also eat the flesh of my people, and flay their skin from them, and they break their bones and chop them up in pieces as for the pot and the flesh within the cauldron. Look, that's unnatural. That is unnatural. They weren't in a famine. There's no, they're eating people. These are the leaders that hate evil and they're eating people. Hey, Bill Sneblin was a vampire, right? <laughs> Look what it says. Look at the next verse. Then shall they cry unto the Lord and he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time as they have behaved themselves ill in their doings. They hate the, hey, they hate the good. They eat flesh. He will not hear them. They are reprobates. Well, but Brother Fanny, what, what about Jeffrey Dahmer? Surely Jeffrey Dahmer became a Christian. Haven't you seen the story of Jeffrey Dahmer? You guys know who I'm talking about, right? He became a Christian. I mean, this, that is a, a token of God's grace and mercy if even Jeffrey Dahmer can get saved. I had a lady soul winning that had a problem with that. And I showed her the reprobate doctrine. She thought she had to repent of her sins. I explained to her the reprobate doctrine that Jeffrey Dahmer was in hell and it made sense and she got saved. Yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer ate people, molested people. According to the Bible here, God won't hear his call. According to the Bible, he cannot believe. Now, he's in prison and a Church of Christ minister comes to him and says, look, if you get baptized and repent of all your sins, you can be a Christian. And Jeffrey Dahmer, repented, he repented. He didn't eat any more people since they had him locked up. Isn't, isn't the gospel amazing? That's not the gospel. Jeffrey Dahmer's in hell. He's damned. He's a false prophet. He's spitting in the face of God, saying, yeah, I'm trusting in my baptism to get saved. That's a false gospel. The guy that preached that to him was probably a reprobate as well. Hardened in his heart intentionally preaching a repent of your sins, a work salvation. Yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer's in hell. Yeah. 